Hey everybody, welcome to an episode of Cooking with the Frisbees. It is New Year's Eve 2022 on the cusp of 2023 and we have something special tonight, something we've never done before. I got to be honest with you, I've never had a fear when it comes to cooking. I'm scared and here's the reason I'm scared because my daughter and her boyfriend, as gracious as they are, bought Beth and I some A5 Wagyu beef. And we are gonna cook this. Now they bought this for us a while ago. Um, they bought two of them, it's very expensive. And we're just gonna do one because everything that we've looked at and all the research that we've done, it was like, God, you just need to eat a couple of pieces because it's that rich. I've never tasted this. Beth has never tasted it. This is gonna be something new for us. We don't season it. We've brought it up to room temperature. It will be done on the Masterbuilt Gravity Feed 560 Charcoal Grill. God, I love it when I get that right. It may not be actually right, but so I'm gonna take the grill. I'm gonna start the grill at 325. That's where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put my meter in here so that I can monitor the temperature of this thing. 125, we believe, is where we're gonna like it. And that we believe is just a little bit above medium rare. We've watched some videos, 135 looks like medium. Uh, and they're saying that's a waste for a piece of meat like this. So medium rare or just above is where you want it. So we'll take you through the process of it. We'll take you through the tasting of it. I'm scared to death. The grill is out there going. I got it going. I'm going to bring it to 325 and we'll film this as we go and you're going to see it as we see it. And then Beth has made some Brussels sprout casserole as an accompaniment. Um, gosh, I'm, I'm excited and scared at the same time. I don't know <laughs> if I'm more nervous or excited, but we're going to find out. So stick with us as we go through the process, guys. Hey guys, so <laughs> we love our trusty little meter here. So... I'm going to go ahead and use this because if if I want to pull this thing at 125, actually I'm going to pull it at 115 and do a reverse sear on it is what I want to do. I'll explain real quick. We do it all the time. We cook the meat at a very low temperature. So I've got the grill. I said 275, 325. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start this somewhere around 210. Just to get a little bit of charcoal flavor on the top rack. When it gets to 115, it's coming off. Then I'm gonna turn it up to about 650 degrees and do a reverse sear on this. From everything we've seen, this happens really fast. Like this is a three minute cook and that's it. So, I've pulled the meter. I'm gonna go ahead, let's put it in. Alexa, Your bristle. stop. Sorry. All right, let's put this in. I mean, I don't even really know what to Your set this on. Your bristle sprouts timer is done. Right. Let's put that in. When the market closed on Friday, the Dow Jones Industrial. All right. So let's set tap beef. <laughs> it doesn't say There's Wagyu. No. <laughs> so I'm not sure what to do. So I'm just going to go ahead. Let's go back. And I'm just going to call this. It's got more of like a filet on it, I think, is what I'll do. Um, I'm going to bring the temperature. 125 is where we want it to start or be done. So I'm going to start the cook. So now it's started. And I've just gone ahead and manually said, I'm just going to do 125. I'm not going to pick any kind of meat. It's not a T-bone. It's not a sirloin. I don't know. The closest might be a filet. I don't know. Um, the marbling in this thing, we're going to find out. So we're getting ready to go to the grill and you're going to come along with us. Hey guys, so we're ready to go on the grill. So I've got my master built 560 gravity feed charcoal grill set at 220 degrees. That's where I'm setting it. And then I'm going to set this on the top rack and I've got my meter in. So we're going to monitor this. And again, I'm going to pull it when it gets to about 115. I love daylight savings time though. Winter time is just really not my favorite time because the lighting is just gone and it's still early. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I'm going to put this on the top rack, nice and gingerly. I'm going to put that there. Like I said, she's set. It's somewhere around 220. 
my meter is going. We're going to come back when that temperature starts coming up. It shouldn't take very long at all. It's going to go quick. Stick with us, guys. All right, guys, we're back. So I took the temperature up. I put it at 300 because Beth said the things that she looked at, everybody was doing it very fast. But there were a couple of people when they did use the meter, they never really give you an indication of what the temperature should be or how long they did it. So I took the temperature to 300. It's been on here about five minutes, right? The meter's saying it's gonna be done in six minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over. You can get a look and see what it's doing. It's not, it's not, our big fear was it was just gonna like melt away into nothing. And that doesn't seem to be the case. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn this over. Ooh, it's got a couple of grill marks in it. It's not looking that bad. So the temperature is very quickly climbing on this. It started out at 63 degrees. It's been on there for five minutes. I very quickly moved it to 300, so it didn't sit at 210 for very long at all. And the temperature is at 100 right now, like that fast. So I just flipped it over. You saw me flip it. Again, I think I'm gonna take the temperature up to 325 now. Let's go 325 because a lot of people cook this thing pretty quick. I'll go to 330. Um, at 100 degrees i'm gonna pull it at 115 so come back hey guys so we're at 115 now it's got to come off oh it's looking good we're gonna pull that off i'm gonna take this temperature up to eh, let's just rocket this bad boy up to about 600 well 620 sounds good and when it hits 620 all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit a reverse sear on this. It's looking good. It's still, boy, that is really soft. Um, just gonna hit it with a reverse sear. The meter kinda came through the meat a little bit as it shrank up. Um, but we're gonna see. Guys, I don't know. It's a first for us. We'll let you know if this is worth $100 for so many ounces of meat. So come back when I reverse sear. It's almost there. Hey guys, so the temperature of the grill is somewhere around 620. That's good enough for searing purposes. The hope is this is going to be one minute and one minute. So let's, there's the sizzle. Let's say she's going on. I'm going to still monitor the temperature. I'm going to say, Alexa, set a timer for 40 seconds. Because I'm so afraid of messing this up. And we will be back in 40 seconds. All right, so I did 40 seconds because I'm just really afraid. Ooh, it's really starting to sizzle there. Ooh, yeah. Let's flip this. Let's go to the other side. Oh, we got some live flame going on in there too. That can't be a bad thing. As that fat starts to render and it starts to flame up, I'm going to say that's a good thing. All right, we'll be back in another 30 seconds. Okay, guys, it's coming off. The meter says it's ready. I'm not overcooking this bad boy. Let's bring it off. Let's go inside. Let's let it rest. And we will come back and we'll let you know how it goes. All right, we'll be back. Hey everybody, so the meter is saying it's ready. We've got this thing at 129 degrees. So we're gonna slice into it. Let's, let's hope it doesn't burn my fingers at 130 degrees. I'm gonna pull this meter out of here. Ooh, that is hot. I'm sorry, guys. Let me get a paper towel just to shield my fingers a little bit because metal and heat don't really work. All right, so I'm pulling that out. Remove this plate. I'm going to get my carving knife, although there's not a ton to carve here. And let's just let's cut some pieces off of here because Beth and I are going to taste. Oh, that's done perfectly. I gotta tell you guys, I was scared this whole time. So I'm just gonna cut a few pieces here. I wanna see exactly what this is all about. Look at that, and that cooked perfectly. Look at that, just a little bit of paint. Oh, wow. Still left in there. All right, so let's move that to the side. Let's do a little taste test. It's gonna be a piece of, oh, my, my faithful companion Bentley's right there. And they say what happens with this is that the, the taste of it is so overwhelming. So let's um, get a little bit of salt flake on it. Because if you remember, we didn't really season it 
uh, right away because we wanted to see what the true flavor of the meat was going to be. So we're going to put a little salt flake on it. All right. Now, let's see. Right. Let's see what we got. Come around. All right. We're going to try this. All right. Beth and I are going to try this. All right. Let's see what the hype is about. They're not talking about the explosion. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Um, that is delicious. They're not. Wow, that's really delicious. I'm not going to lie. This is like. They are not wrong about that explosion in your mouth. If you think about the mm. best steak that you've ever had, and then amplify it by 100, I think that's what we got here. I truly believe. So, guys, the Wagyu, Wagyu, because that's how it's spelled. It's W-A-G-Y-U, which says that you pr pronounce that as Wagyu. This is a success. It is not something you will see cooking with the Frisbees do all the time because it's expensive. It was a gift. It's delicious. I think we cooked it perfectly, although I was scared to death. And then, guess what, guys? We're just going to go eat. So thanks for watching. Give it a shot. We love you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Good luck in 2023. And we'll see you next time.